evolution. Life evolves constantly. We are human form after going through long, long process of millions of years of evolution. I am reading from Zero is Infinity, written in 2015, available on Amazon, Kindle, and my website. Evolution took place from bacteria, amoeba, worms, clams, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals. New concept of evolution is that collective intelligence of organism produces evolution. From spiritual standpoint, Vedantic standpoint, Brahman has chitta or consciousness and because of that consciousness life evolves. So after mammals, in the mammals it comes to monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas. So the spine, horizontal spine becomes a little bit vertical. In humans, spine becomes vertical. This is the sign of evolution. Even in human life, we go through many, many incarnations to utilize the vertical spine that is used for awakening higher power, awakening, awakening Kundalini. So, animals don't have those faculties. Minerals have energy and matter. Plants have energy, matter and mind. Uh, energy and matter. Minerals have only matter. Animals have matter, energy and mind. So it's a more refined. Plants feel sensation, animals feel pleasure and pain. But animal life is limited to experience karma, cause and effect, and that's the end of it. Humans have third faculty, that is intellect. So because of intellect, we think, we judge, we analyze, we feel pleasure and pain that gets registered in the unconscious mind or chitta as sanskaras. And these sanskaras produce transmigration. Also, chitta also utilized for self-realization. So evolution continues in the human body. Human body, we go through many incarnations. We learn spiritual lessons. What is the spiritual lesson that we learn? God created the universe for us, the Jagat for Jivatma. Jivatma means our being, body, mind, senses, everything to experience the world, to enjoy the world. So Jagat means the world. Jivatma enjoys the world. And by enjoying the world, one can get lost in the world. Or one can learn the lesson, so that the lesson one learns is world is illusion. One is illusion and I am permanent reality. So the climax of evolution is one has desire to know who am I instead of living life like animals. Survival, pleasure, power, greed, all these things. When desire awakens to know who am I, that intensifies one finds a guru, right situation, and one meditates, we changes the lifestyle, stays in rhythm with universe called dharma or morality, and in meditation one removes old impressions or sanskaras. When all sanskaras are removed, one experiences true essence as Atman, that means one ends transmigration. One is not bound by birth and death is considered suffering. One becomes free 
and this is called moksha or liberation.